Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to wire up a brushless motor with a speed control. I'm going to first show you guys on a single engine and then a twin and then four engine just like I did for my four engine DC6 3D printed airliner. For a single engine you just need a one ESC, a brushless motor, and you need a receiver and a battery. So what we're going to do is go ahead and plug in the ESC to the brushless motor. They're just three wires, you're just going to plug all three of them in. In order to power the receiver, we need one power lead going to the receiver. So because of this single engine configuration, we're gonna use the power from the ESC, which is this red wire in the center. It's called BEC. Just plug in our ESC to our throttle control. That's plugged into the one port. And now we can go ahead and plug the battery pack into the ESC and that will power the receiver now you hear the motor initialize. Okay, now that we have one working, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set it up in a two engine configuration. So we just gotta do the same thing, plug the ESC to the brushless motor. Okay, so now in a two engines configuration, we only need one BEC going to our receiver from one ESC. So we're gonna go ahead and disable one of the BSEs. So how we're gonna do that is just pull off one of these wires in the center and pull it back on itself. Okay, now for this video, I'm just gonna use a piece of masking tape and just tape this back. But normally what I'll use is like a piece of heat shrinking and I'll just heat shrink that back on itself. And now we just have a signal wire and a ground wire going to this ESC. All right, now we can disconnect this ESC from the receiver and we're gonna go ahead and plug a Y harness in and we can plug that right into the receiver. Again, on the throttle signal on the receiver. Now we have two XT60 connectors here. You can do two things. Either you can hook this up in a Y harness and use one flight pack, or you can use two batteries and hook these up by themselves so that you have a little bit more battery pack. So you either use kind of two smaller batteries or one big battery. Okay, now you just heard both the brushless motors initialize and then they should work now. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to cut four engines. So the same thing, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect to these. And connect your ESC to your motors. Okay, now we have all four of the ESCs hooked up. So same thing for the multi-engine as is on the four engine, you only need one BEC to power the receiver. So we're gonna go ahead and disable the power leads on the two other ESCs I just hooked up. Now that we disabled those BECs, I'll just go ahead and hook those up in a Y harness. Okay, then I'll just go ahead and disconnect the Y harness from this receiver. I'll use one more Y harness, hook up these two. So now I have all four of the ESCs going into a Y harness and then another Y harness. So we only have one connection into the receiver. And one of these, this middle one, has a BEC powering uh, the red wire that will power the receiver. So go ahead and plug that once again into the throttle port on the receiver. Now to power the ESCs, we can either take a Y harness and hook it in and use two battery packs, or I can hook up another Y harness and all the way neck it down into one battery pack if we want to. Or I can use four battery packs and power all four other ESCs. So it just depends on what your setup is and what the weight of the airplane is that you're flying. Uh, for this video, I'm just gonna hook up all four of these ESCs onto a different battery pack. We can go ahead and use our controller. Okay, now that we have all four engines working with the speed controllers and batteries, there's one more thing we have to cover when it comes to multi-engine electronics. To keep this as simple as possible, you basically want to make sure that you're using two counter-rotating props and two engines are uh, wired to spin the opposite direction. That way, if you lose an engine, it will have the least effect on the control of the airplane uh, and you can bring it in safely. All four are turning counterclockwise. We want the two green ones to be counterclockwise and these ones to be clockwise. So we're gonna switch these two wires out and switch the direction of the motor. Here 
There we go. Now the two yellow ones are spinning clockwise and the green are spinning clockwise. So that's all there is to it, to wiring multi-engine electronics. I uh, hope this was helpful. If you guys want to check out more videos I have, check out my channel. Make sure to hit subscribe. I have more flight video and a full build tutorial on how to build this DC-6. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next build.